Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So we got a pair of them tied up here in fish stakes this morning. So uh, we're trying to pull and move a bunch of stuff today and uh, get some new stuff in. But uh, anyway, not a bad way to start things off. We'll just catch y'all down the road. All right, guys. Now this is what I'm talking about, okay? I made a statement that the White Claw is the dog proof of the trapping world and people got butt hurt all over the world over it. This is why, I, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can make it out or not, but there's a cat track, a bobcat track right there on top of that coon track. If I go through here and I put nothing but dog proofs in this trail, all I'm going to catch is the raccoon, the skunks, and the possums. Why would I pass up that bobcat? That's what I meant when I said that. Guys are limiting themselves and handicapping themselves. One style of trap, one style of trapping, and they're missing fur. I wasn't hating on anybody. I wasn't dis disrespectful to anybody. But it's the truth. So, anyway, just wanted to clarify that. I'm going to get a foothold set in here. Talk to y'all later. All right, guys. Now, there's another prime example right there. There's a light, faint trail going right up and going right underneath that cedar tree, coming out of a switchgrass patch. And it's going across the road to this timber. Now granted, there's probably coon using it, but you stick a dog proof in there and you're gonna miss that bobcat that's running that too. That's all I was getting at. So anyway, I gotta get this set. There's gotta be, gotta be some footholds going in here or a snare or something. But uh, more than likely footholds because of the distance I am from my house, I see now. So anyway, we're going to set it and down the road. All right, gang. Here's what I was talking about. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is, that is coyote underwool right there. Now look at this trail. Look at it. Go ahead and stick your dog proofs in there, boys. That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't trying to offend anybody. I wasn't trying to be a dick about it. I'm just simply stating a fact. Why handicap yourself? Check, catch you all later. All right, gang. This is that trail I was just showing with the, where I just said, you know, showed you the, the hair on the barbed wire fence up there. There's number two coil spring, Montgomery, and old Montgomery laying there in this trail waiting. Guarantee you, if a fox, coyote, cat, coon comes through here, I got a better chance at all of them versus just one species of them with a dog proof. All right, gang. I just wanted to show you this trail. Mike, Mike Howell from Last Step Trap Supply and High Tannins popping in a pair of one and a half bridgers there. I've got a pair of, or he, we got a pair of one and a half dukes in it. Man, there's, I don't know if you can see it all or not, but there's coon tracks, there's coyotes, there's, I don't know, probably some aardvark or some wombat, or everything's going down this thing. There's another pair of sets there, so, and it just keeps on going. Now, we can't go any farther down that trail that way because we don't have permission, so we can set them here in the road ditch, though, here in Iowa. So, anyway, I just want to show you all this trail. I don't know that they're going to run tonight as cold as it is, but when they do, it's going to be on. All right, trappers. So, yeah, I said what I said. And I'm sorry I'm not sorry. Um, I wasn't trying to be mean. I wasn't trying to be rude. I wasn't trying to hate on anybody. I wasn't trying to offend anybody. Uh, I hope that you're able to take the information that I gave you today in this video and put her to some good use. Learn that there's other things to use other than just a dog-proof trap. Learn to use snares if they're legal. Learn to use condom bears if they're legal. Learn to use footholds if you can in those trails. Your catch rate is going to go up dramatically. And I don't mean just in incidentals like the fox, coyotes, bobcats, the occasional mink, the occasional otter that comes bouncing down that trail. I'm talking about your raccoon catch as well. I'm telling you guys, go do it for yourself, okay? Do it for yourself. Go to those trails, drop in a pair of dog proofs or three, four, whatever. Set it up until you no longer catch, okay? Run them until, until the catch stops for a couple of days. Then go back 
pull those dog proofs and drop footholds in those trails and uh, you'll be able to see just exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, I sure appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you would, please hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Maybe you want to go back and check out some of my other videos if you're new to this channel. Maybe you want to go back and look at some of them and, and maybe there's some knowledge in there that you can use. Uh, once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.